to go to steady cam now instead of our normal studio cameras. So we'll have the camera guy come in here and we'll start with the equipment. All right, come in here, camera guy. Oh, good. First thing you need to have, single stage press. Very first thing you need to buy. All right, this particular press is the coax press. If not the best single stage press, certainly the top one, two, or three. All right, you got to have that. You're going to be a loader. You got to have a single stage press. The next thing you need, camera guy, move around, is the Dillon Square Deal. All right, this does pistol only. That's okay. You're going to be shooting a lot of pistol. All right, but you absolutely have to have a Dillon Square Deal. I understand it's blue. You can paint it a different color if you want. All right. Again, we're talking minimum equipment that a noob has to have. The next press you have to have is the Dillon 550. New rifle and pistol. Excellent press. Excellent press. You want to have spare tool heads for every caliber you do. The whole idea of this is to cut down on the work. Because I know all you youngins your life is so busy, there's not a spare moment. Unless, unlike our, us old guys, who we had no life whatsoever when we were young. We wasted 23 hours a day. I understand that. The Dillon 550 is the third piece of equipment you need. Now, camera guys, swing around. The next piece of equipment that you have to buy before you ever load around is the lock and load. The Hornady Lock and Load. All right, got to have it. Absolutely have to have it. This one's equipped, as you can see, with a case feeder. All right, but you don't want to have to go through the trouble of changing from small pistol to large pistol primers. So what do you do when you're buying your minimum equipment? You get another lock and load. You have one set up for large pistol. One set up for small pistol, and again, because your time is valuable on at least one of your lock and loads, you add the bullet feeder. Absolute must. All right, now again, if I'm still around long enough to do more videos, we'll eventually do videos on all these pieces of equipment, and you can see what's going on. Okay? Now, the other press that you absolutely have to have is the Dillon 1050. Why? Ego! We all have egos. You gotta spend 1600 bucks on a Dillon 1050. No way to get around it. If you're gonna load, you gotta have it. But you run into the same problem as you run into with the lock and loads. The conversions on these are very expensive and it's a pain in the neck to change from small pistol to large pistol primers. What's the solution? <laughs> Very easy. You get a second 1050. You have one set up for large pistol, one set up for small pistol. Not a problem. Okay? Now, if you're going to be doing all this loading on all this equipment, you need bullets. There is only one place to get bullets. You cast them. Got to have yourself a quality furnace. All right. I don't know if the camera guy can get in there. You got to have an assortment of molds for different calibers, different weights, different nose profiles, absolute minimum equipment that you need. Now, a lot of you say, Jack, but where do I get the lead? If you're resourceful, it's not a problem. You'll always have several buckets of lead sitting in your gun room at all times. And if you have an outside deck, you'll have another 8 to 10 to 12 buckets filled with lead under there. Now, if you'll notice, this bucket here and that bucket there is sprue from the casting. And we'll do a video on casting. And here we have raw wheel weights. You have to have it. Can't load around without it. Okay? Now, what else do you need? For a minimum amount of equipment. Well, you got to have an assortment of dies. 
for different calibers, obviously. You got to have a good quantity of primers. Up on the top there, you can see some of the powder that we have. Absolute minimum. Absolute minimum. You have to have primers. Now, if you're going to be a real shooter, then down below you'll notice black powder shooting boxes. You cannot be a real loader or a real shooter if you don't shoot black powder. Without black powder, you're never more than a flatlander. So you have to have that. Okay? Now, over here, we've got some more powder. You always want to keep a good supply of powder on hand. This is the minimum that you should have. Now, some of the new guys, and even some of the old guys, like Fred, they say, well, no, never use a low volume powder like Bullseye or Tight Group. Eh, there might be some truth in that, but looks can be deceiving. You'll notice that it's a canister of Bullseye. Or is it? Powder canisters make wonderful places to hide the really important stuff. Okay? Alright, so you got to have your powder. The next thing you need is manuals. Camera guy, can you get a shot of the manuals in there? Now you notice you got the newest Lyman, you got the older Lymans, you got Spear, you got Hornady. Uh, these things date back a while. This one goes back to 1972. Okay? You can't have too many manuals. Read them. You'll learn. You'll pick up tips. You'll see the difference between loads that were 40 years ago and what they are today with the same powder. You'll pretty much be amazed. Now there's one other manual, if you will, or book that every loader has to have in their loading room. It's a law. And that's a copy of Cherish the Magic. <laughs> Available at Amazon.com or fine booksellers everywhere. you got to have it. It's a law. Okay. Next thing you need if you want to be a loader. Camera guy, swing around there. Camera guy's going the wrong way. If you're going to be a loader, you got to load shotgun. Just that simple. You can't be a loader without loading shotgun. You gotta have a 12 gauge loader. This is a Mech 9000H. It's hydraulic. Right down there on the floor you can see you just press the little little foot pedal. Does everything for you. This is a 20 gauge loader. Gotta have that. Alright? You have to have all that stuff as a minimum to start loading. Otherwise, you're never gonna be a loader. Alright? And then in your room even if tomorrow is the first day that you're going to start loading, you want to look like a pro. You want to look experienced. You want to look like a book of knowledge. How do you do that? You got to have your ego walls. You got to put old targets up on your walls. You got to have stuff hanging from everywhere underneath your benches, even though you don't use them you got to have a bunch of different presses. you got to have five or six single stage presses and then maybe an extra 12 gauge loader under there. you got to have all this stuff so that you're going to look professional. The only way you can do it. Okay? Alright, what we've done... Alright, camera guy. What we've done is we've gone over the minimum amount of equipment that a noob needs. Can't start loading without what you've seen. In the next video we'll move over to the next studio where we'll show you the equipment for intermediate loaders. And then in a future video we'll go to the studio for experienced loaders. Okay? Alright, look. It's all good fun kind of playing games with all this. The bottom line is, you want to start loading? Buy something. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter. You can upgrade later. Buy something. Buy quality. You'll notice that there's no 
Lee equipment in here. <laughs> uh, that's just me. There's nothing wrong with Lee equipment. All right. Uh, you will notice, however, there's no uh, Lee FCD in here. Uh, you know what you're doing. You don't need it. But it's nice to argue on the forums. But whatever you're going to do, get started. Buy equipment. Do a little research. But you don't have to start out with a 1050 or a Dillon 650 or a Dillon 550 or a lock and load. Just get started. Learn to load, learn to be safe, and have a lot of fun. It's a wonderful hobby. It's a wonderful family hobby. I'm in the best point in my life now. I teach my grandkids to load. I take my son-in-law shooting. He learns how to load. It's something you can do until the good Lord says, time for you to leave. All right? So all you guys have fun. Be safe. Learn to load. Learn to shoot. All right? And send in those PMs. Let's hear some suggestions of what kind of videos you want to see. Uh, keep them clean. If you have complaints, I don't particularly want to hear it, but I'll read it. All right? Everybody have a good time. Yeah.